welcome to Shop Talk. In this segment, we'll be talking about the fuel injection system with our resident car guru, Steve Hamilton. Steve, what does the fuel injection system actually do? Well, a fuel injector is an electronically controlled valve that opens and closes many times per second. It emits an atomized cloud of fuel spray through a tiny nozzle. Hmm. So does the fuel injection system use fuel more efficiently then? Absolutely. This spray is much easier for your vehicle to burn. It provides your vehicle with improved gas mileage and power. So how can I tell if there are problems with the fuel injection system? You may find that your vehicle is having trouble starting or running. This might be running rough or losing power or even lower gas mileage. Hmm. What would cause those problems? The burning fuel causes an incredible amount of heat right where the fuel injectors are located. Impurities in the fuel cause carbon deposits to form, interfering with the injector's spray pattern and fuel flow. Hmm. So I bet there's something that you can do to correct this. Of course. <laughs> Most injectors can be serviced and cleaned, which will restore them to their original performance. All right. What services are included then in fuel injection maintenance? Well, the technician sprays a liquid cleaning agent into the injection nozzle, which dissolves any carbon deposits and restores a proper fuel flow. Now, once this is done, the technician may also change the fuel filter if necessary. Does that have any effect on the fuel injection system? Oh, sure. Contaminated fuel can have a disastrous effect on your vehicle's performance and mileage. The fuel filter traps contaminants before they can cause damage. Wow. What problems can damaged fuel filters cause? Contaminated filters can prevent the flow of fuel from the fuel pump, which can cause severe damage to both the pump and the injection system over time. So how often should the fuel injection system and the filter be serviced? Well, generally, filters should be replaced every two years or 24,000 miles. If you've never had an injection service and your vehicle has more than 40,000 miles on it, you may be pleasantly surprised by the results. Huh, maybe some good news there. All right, who doesn't want more power, better gas mileage, and a smoother running engine? Absolutely. Until next time, thanks for joining us on Shop Talk. Hello and welcome to Shop Talk. This time we'll be discussing your vehicle's power steering. If it isn't working as smoothly as it should, it may be time for a power steering fluid flush. Power steering is one of those things we all take for granted until it stops working. Have you ever tried to drive a vehicle with a broken power steering pump? As a matter of fact, it happened to me this summer. It is nearly impossible. You, you have to have incredible strength to yeah. just try to turn the wheel. That's right. And all of a sudden, you can feel the 1,000 pounds or so that sits on your front tires. Not the kind of situation you can drive around town with. That's why regular power steering maintenance is important. And by doing it regularly, it may save you hundreds of dollars down the line. Can you tell us what exactly the power steering fluid does for a vehicle? Well, power steering is a high-pressure hydraulic system that uses a pump to create pressure that assists in making the wheels turn. Now, the fluid is a special oil designed to carry the force of the pump and lubricate the system. Like transmission fluid, it's the lifeblood of the steering system. It sounds like the fluid takes a lot of abuse. Oh, it does. You know, it's exposed to lots of heat and is constantly being pumped under extreme pressure as it's circulated through the system. So how can I tell if there are any power steering problems? Well, at times it may be difficult to turn the steering wheel, and you may hear whining or moaning noises when you turn the wheel. In many cases, a power steering fluid flush will alleviate the problem simply because the fluid has become so broken down or low that it becomes ineffective. Wow. All right, so what services are performed then in a power steering flush? Well, typically the technician flushes out the old fluid, replaces it with fresh fluid, and then bleeds and checks the system to be sure everything is working as it should. And how often should this service be performed? Technicians should check your power steering fluid levels with every oil change. Now, manufacturers typically recommend a flush during the major service intervals, but if you're experiencing any kind of issue with your power steering, have it looked at right away. It may just need a simple service, which could save you hundreds of dollars over having to replace pumps and other expensive steering components. All right, so maintaining your power steering will help provide a smooth, safe drive, and it may also save you a fortune. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Steve, for showing us the importance of a power steering fluid flush. For all of us here at Shop Talk, thanks for watching.
Hi, welcome to Shop Talk. In this segment, Steve and I are taking a look at windshield wiper blades. All right, Steve, what causes wiper blades to wear out? Sun, heat radiated from hot windshield glass, wind, cold weather, and road oils are brutal to wiper blades. Mm. So it's important to replace them as they age. The big question is how often should I change my wiper blades? Well, a lot of the time we find ourselves replacing them just after a driving rainstorm when we can see that they're not working. The top seven manufacturers of blades recommend replacement every six to 12 months. Will they still work if I go for a longer period of time without changing them? Well, that all depends on your definition of work. Do you like streaking, smearing, or chattering? Or do you like a nice field of vision? You know, you are so right. There is nothing worse than a hard driving rainstorm with bad wipers. That can be horrifying and it is really dangerous. So what indicators would suggest that it is maybe time for a replacement? The best thing is preventative maintenance on this one. So you avoid finding yourself in that rainstorm with wipers that have worn out. Mm. Now, every other oil change is a good time or when the seasons change. I always get a new set in time for winter driving. Hmm. Should I replace both blades at the same time? Oh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Wiper blades have a limited life. Changing both at the same time keeps your maintenance time to a minimum. And remember, if one is worn out, the other is not far behind. All right, how do I know which blades fit my car? All you have to do is provide the make, model, and year of your vehicle to your technician. He'll then be able to identify the part you need. Now, one of the things many people overlook is their rear wiper blade. Many SUVs and wagons have rear wipers. And I tell you what, these are the ones I see getting really worn out. Hmm. So SUV drivers may want to take a look at updating that rear blade too. So for better vision in bad conditions and a safer, more relaxed driving experience, a new set of wiper blades can make all the difference in the world. For all of us here at Shop Talk, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.